Today's read aloud is a folk tale. Remember, a folk tale is a story that is told orally and passed down for many, many years. Folk tales were started by the Native Americans, who are the first known people to live in what is now called the United States of America. Characters in folk tales almost always want something. So this folk tale is called The Story of Jumping Mouse, and this is part one. Tomorrow you will listen to part two. Let's go over some vocabulary. Our first word is brush. Say brush. A brush is a bunch of bushes and other plants growing close together. Journey. Say journey. A journey is a long trip. Perilous. Say perilous. Perilous means dangerous. And our last word is swayed. Say swayed. Swayed means to change an idea or an opinion. So this is a story of Jumping Mouse. I want you to listen carefully to find out how Jumping Mouse gets what he wants and how he is similar to characters and other read-alouds in getting what he wants. Once there was a small mouse with a big dream. The small mouse had grown up listening to the elders tell wonderful stories about the far-off land. Now the small mouse lived in the brush near the sparkling river. Remember, brush is a group of bushes and other plants growing close together. On the other side of the sparkling river was the dry desert. The small mouse had been told that the far-off land was on the other side of the dry desert. Although the mouse was small, he was brave. He intended to go to the far-off land. The word intended means this mouse planned and wanted to go to the far-off land. One day, he said goodbye to his family and friends and set off. His first challenge was to find a way to cross the beautiful sparkling river. A challenge is something that is hard to do. As he stared at the lapping water, a frog appeared beside him. You'll have to swim, said the frog. I don't know what you mean replied the small mouse, for he had never swum before. Watch me, said the frog, and with that, the frog jumped into the sparkling river and began to swim. The small mouse watched the frog for several seconds before announcing, I am afraid I cannot do that. I will have to find another way to cross the sparkling river. The frog returned to the edge of the river. Why are you so determined to cross the sparkling river? Where are you going? asked the frog. I'm going to the far off land, replied the small mouse. If you don't mind me saying, you are a very small mouse to cross such a big river and travel such a long distance to the far off land. The frog stared at the small mouse for a short time and seeing that he could not be swayed from following his plan decided to help the small mouse. So this means that the mouse would not change his plan no matter what the frog said. This is your lucky day, exclaimed the frog. I am a magic frog and I will help you. I name you Jumping Mouse. You will soon discover that you can jump higher than you have ever jumped before. Follow me, Jumping Mouse and I will take you across the sparkling river. How will the gift of jumping help Jumping Mouse cross the river? Let's see. With that said, the frog and Jumping Mouse jumped very high and landed on a leaf in the middle of the sparkling river. They floated on the leaf to the other side of the sparkling river. Goodbye, my friends, said the frog. Be brave and hopeful, and you will surely reach the far off land. Thank you, replied Jumping Mouse. I will never forget your kindness. 
jumping mouse set off across the dry desert. He jumped across stones and twigs on his strong legs. As the frog had promised, jumping mouse jumped higher than ever before. He traveled by day and by night, stopping only to eat berries wherever he found them. Eventually, Jumping Mouse came to a stream. The stream gave life to this part of the dry desert. Beside the stream grew many bushes. Underneath one of the bushes, there lived a very fat mouse. Good day to you, the fat mouse said to Jumping Mouse. Good day, replied Jumping Mouse. Where are you going? asked the fat mouse. To the far off land, explained Jumping Mouse. However, I would like to rest a while and eat some of the juicy berries that grow on the bushes beside the stream. The word stream means a small body of water similar to a river. Be my guest, said the fat mouse. Jumping Mouse stayed with the fat mouse for several days. He ate berries and drank from the cool stream. Before long, he felt rested and ready to continue his journey. It is time for me to continue my journey, said Jumping Mouse one day. The word journey means a long trip. Why would you want to travel to a place you are not sure even exists? Stay here with me where you can eat berries and drink from the stream to your heart's content. But if you must go, be very careful for the journey will be perilous indeed for such a small mouse, warned the fat mouse. Does the fat mouse think it is a good idea for jumping mouse to leave? The word perilous means dangerous. I will be careful and I will find a way to pay forward the kindness you and the frog have shown me. Thank you for your generosity, replied jumping mouse as his powerful legs carried him away. With hope in his heart, Jumping Mouse continued on his way. So tomorrow we will find out if Jumping Mouse makes it to the far off land. Go ahead and answer the questions.